All right, welcome back. Uh, Bill decided we're gonna go ahead and do another video. I wasn't 100% um, about if we we're gonna do that, but he is keen on it, so we're gonna do that. So um, this is what we gained in resources. So we did after the hunt phase. We went ahead and did a showdown. Um, I didn't want to record the whole thing because I really honestly wanted Bill to be able to play without having to mess around with the camera, talk to you guys about it. No offense to you, but just wanted to kind of get the, the game going um, so he didn't only have a settlement and hunt phase um, so that when we play Thursday night I have someone else that kind of knows what's going on. I should also point out that Bill actually did purchase another whole course out of the game and a bunch of the expansions so between the both of us this is the person I was talking about we have um, the entire game in terms of expansions and all of that stuff um, so he is just as invested actually if not more yeah, invested sure spent more. <laughs> he spent more than I did um, which as someone commented on the Kingdom Death Kickstarter page, my wall of games, uh, is a little bit shocking that Bill spent more than I did, but yes, he, he actually did invest more into this. Um, I also have to throw out that my buddy Minnie, who um, got a new job and probably won't be able to play this as much, also threw in some money so that we could get things um, like the Slender Man when it was added. Um, realistically his money helped me purchase the slender man by piggybacking off of bill because i accidentally closed my uh, additional what, what the hell was it called the post kickstarter thing yeah it was a post kickstarter add money to y'all know what i'm talking about if you're kickstarters but um when they opened up the pledge manager pledge manager that's what it was uh, I accidentally closed it the very first time and then had to give money to Bill to buy the Slender Man and the Lion God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Lion God. Um, so anyway, uh, at this we have, uh, we had a terrain event that gave us the Ore the Vein. Yeah, it was Ore Vein. Ore Vein. Um, we got the iron out of it. So we got the iron. Uh, now this is, throw this up here. So this is iron. It is a scrap, which was something that on one of these yeah, we had to use, we things. Could. Yeah, you could use scrap for something on, I think, one of the settlement locations. Um, so scrap. Uh, says harder than bone um, but this is a strange resource so we got that from a terrain piece that was on the showdown board um, we actually had to mine that it wasn't something that we got from fighting the white lion uh, so terrain and location which I know was something that people were a little bit concerned about that moving around on the board wouldn't really matter. Uh, it definitely does, <laughs> as as we played on the showdown phase. Um, positioning your people strategically, whether to pick up additional resources or just not getting completely mauled, mauled yeah, by whatever the thing you're fighting is, uh, definitely does matter. So we got. Uh, just like the prologue phase, we got four basic resources and four specific to the creature. Now, we didn't get any crit resources this time, so no more balls, unfortunately. As much as I love balls, Bill can tell you. Uh, we did, though, get all kinds of hide, so we should be able to build armor during our settlement phase, finally. Uh, we could re realistically only build armor on our first phase. Um, 
because we used the one hide that we had to do innovation. So we should still be able to do another innovation and with our... Oh, we don't have a bone? Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. I am a liar. <laughs> uh, so we will not be able to innovate. We still did get a new location for the settlement, though. Yeah. Um, so the first time that you hunt a white lion outside of the prologue, you get... Can you hand me that, Bill? You automatically add the Caterium, or Caterarium, however you want to say it, um, to your settlement, which allows you to build the white lion-specific resources um, or equipment so you can actually get uh, armor and weapons specific to hunting the white lion, which is pretty sweet. Um, take that back. Uh, so on here we got the iron white fur, which is a hide, the eye of cat, which is organ consumable, Sinew, which is an organ, white fur, which is hide. So we got two of those. So basically, we got a shitload of hide this turn. Six hide, one and two organs. Um, and then we used all of our bone to craft weapons, which did help significantly. Yeah, immensely during the hunt phase. So I'm actually going to pull up the camera here and we'll kind of sit down and talk about the hunt phase um, the showdown phase showdown fit we will sit down <laughs> is that a cue you want me to sit down no so I mean you don't have to shot? I mean you can you can sit there or not or stand there not sit down okay I think uh, I'm gonna turn this thing real quick to make sure I know that I'm in the picture and I'm not <laughs> just standing here. By the way, when I... God damn it. <laughs> when I play games like this, I usually drink a little bit. He's drunk is what he's trying to say. Nope. Yeah. Just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, That's so... Why you can't get the camera to be straight. There may be... A little bit higher. There you mm -hmm. go. Alright. So, all right. Do we have? Do we have your wall of games in the picture? Yeah. It's totally at a weird angle. If you get motion sickness or angle sickness from this, I apologize. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, during the showdown phase, um, <coughs> we couldn't use my initial survivor because he was the one that we chose for understanding for doing the understanding he kind of led the settlement into language talking about things whatnot so we had to bring Tom uh, yeah Tom <laughs> and was instantly bored in a man uh, we also brought hope which was another survivor that um, Bill made just because we decided not to take Azrael so you can choose who goes on the hunt who goes, yeah, and since on our settlement, when we did the settlement phase, we got to create eight survivors, including the four that came back from the initial game, uh, if you guys did watch that, that I brought back, and then we had a birth event, or what was the intimacy. intimacy, intimacy event, which birthed one child. Um, which was Tom, which we ended ben up taking with us. So I don't know, as Bill was saying, <laughs> uh, how lantern years work, but we took a one-year-old who... Uh, An erect face. Yeah, it was totally a fucking badass, uh, using an axe, tearing shit up. So um, took him out. So anyway, during the showdown phase, um, if you watch the hunt phase that we did, one of the cards was, uh, what was it? Prowl. Prowl. Um, and it gave the white lion ground fighting? Yes. Right off the bat. Uh, so Super what, annoying card. Yeah, so what ground, well, I don't know if it's that annoying. Actually, I it think it... would be worse if we didn't have the darts. Yeah, so ground fighting, what it did is it kind of uh, played dead essentially so this is where we gamed 
the game. Uh, it played dead, and when that mood was in effect, uh, that's all it did, is it laid there, and there was a special ability where if you moved anywhere within the kill zone, kill zone something it's basically death. the squares around it. Yeah, squares immediately around it and performed an Action. activation. Yes, activation. Light, lightning bolt. Um, then it got all kinds of bonuses and it did its basic attacks. So basically it stood up, and attacked the shit out of somebody, and then um, you continued with your survivor's turn. Uh, but because we made the bone darts during the first settlement phase, which as much as I want to say, you know, hey, we gamed the game, that's kind of the benefit is that we built the bone darts. Right. We, we didn't wouldn't have, have been able to. to do it without the darts. Right. We didn't have to build the bone darts. We could have made a couple of axes instead yeah. of doing the love juice. We could have built a bunch of daggers. We could have built right. a skull. We could have built uh, the yeah, we could have made a bone helmet. dagger. I mean, there was all kinds of things that we could do, but because we did that, and because we got that, we were able to kind of burn turns and allow Bill, Bill and the Bill's survivor. character, Bill's <laughs> survivor, who had the bone darts, and just kind of keep turns going until he was he, able to hit and wound. Yep, because when we hit and wound it, it would discard the ground fighting, and the lion would go back to normal. Right, so it would stand up, and then that area of death or whatever yeah, it, was it was called nullified. yeah it was nullified because that card then got thrown into the discard the mood was no longer in effect um so with this uh one of the things is we all went insane <laughs> yeah yeah uh, total crit mid shriek and terror yeah uh, drove everyone insane bill bill did that yeah, right yeah, yeah. bill survivor threw a dart that. into its elbow or knee or something like yeah, that. Yeah, uh, totally, yeah. So, all of the four survivors that were on this hunt went insane. Um, we had uh, Kelly, <laughs> um, which is a homebrew. You definitely don't have to do it, but more <laughs> in terms of fun of the story, uh, which I'm sure people will do. Some people will do, some people won't do. Uh, Bill and I decided that between us it was kind of cool, so... Because she Kelly, killed this other lion as well. Yeah, Kelly killed <laughs> the, the other lion on a crit. Um, so what we did was uh, Kelly now has a title, Lion's Bane. Um, and to make it more fair, uh, whenever a white lion is hunted, she gets plus one damage. So she will actually discard two AI cards... Uh, whenever she hits and does damage, but she is permanently, permanently a priority target of the White Lion, which means that unless within a couple of phases, I mean, based on the amount of damage that was actually doled out this yeah. time... <laughs> she almost died anyway. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> she's probably going to die the next time that we fight a White Lion. But uh, I just thought it would be kind of fun... You know, we have a target, we have kind of a... We have a hero. Yeah, we have a we Aside have a hero. from Tom. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> Tom over there. He was born a hero. Yeah, just Made straight a hero. Up fucking... Yeah, we got, we got a hero there. So, um... You know what, honestly, uh, like I said, this wasn't uh, intended to be a review and whatnot, but... I don't know, I'm having... Oh, it's a blast. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh, I think that I think that this is going to be a fun game. I mean, we'll see later on. We'll see uh, lasting power and whatnot. But I mean, even the core game, like you know, without adding the whole Kelly Lions Bane things like that, uh, I think it's so far a great game. Another thing that we didn't show because the prologue doesn't put it there. And uh, we didn't record the showdown phase, like I said, because I didn't want to have to right. deal with explaining everything this time when Bill, I just wanted him to be able to actually play the game since he backed it too. Um, like with the terrain, 
you know, we, we drew new cards, there was extra terrain, there was at one point where the lion uh, grabbed Kelly, actually. Threw her through a stone pillar. Yeah, bashed her through a stone pillar, she took an additional two damage, uh, got thrown down, which is again she another reason. She has a permanent recent. injury now, too. Oh yeah, she has a permanent, she's hamstrung. Uh, so she got a... The power of the martial fighting art. art. Fighting art, yeah. yeah. She got a fighting art That lets her run more, which is awesome. <laughs> Uh, she's got a fighting can't run, so uh, that she got from an age for going on two fights, which was um, another event. Uh, event. Yeah, that you get once that happens on your yeah. survivor. So she got XP. that, and she took dagger proficiency. Um, right. Bill yeah. got berserker and <laughs> gained bow proficiency because we're going to keep him ranged. Yep, yeah, we've got... So, that's the other cool thing. So, we're on our second lantern year. Uh, we haven't actually come back to the settlement phase. Um, but it will be the second lantern year. So, we've got now um, someone who we're kind of focusing into range combat. We've got uh, Kelly's Lion's Bane, uh, which is... Kind of rogue. Yeah, I mean, she's got dagger proficiency and whatnot, but as he said, now she's hamstrung. So we actually have a survivor that has, like, a permanent injury. Someone who, you know, hey, do we actually want to take her? Right. You know, I mean, until we can heal her, is that something? Because she can't use the fighting or that yeah, she got. Yeah, she can't use fighting or, or actions uh, that or, you get from events. Yeah, any action skill things that she can get from events, that's all gone, so... Even if she gains something, she won't be able to use it because she's hamstrung. Um, so, you know, now we're starting to get into a little bit deeper of that... Who do we take with us? Yeah, who do we take with it? Do we create a whole new survivor? Um, Cody should be able to go on the, yeah, second, we'll go on the next second round, uh, who got a courage and understanding. But again, you know, we're looking at... But uh, he doesn't have any insanity, whereas the yeah, others have insanity. Right. We have four insane survivors, um, which the insanity allows us to block mental damage. Um, of course, we did find out some other stuff when we were flipping through cards. If your survivor's insane, There's certain things positives happen. positives and negatives on yeah. the hit locations. Yeah, so there could be positives and negatives. Uh, what was the... You deal plus one strength damage if you're insane. <clears throat> yeah, so... Uh, some extra extra things, and I'm sure there's negatives oh. knowing this game. <laughs> Seems to be more uh, negatives than positives. From what? Damn it! Just throw shit. Don't drink while playing games. Don't, uh, don't drink and do anything, really. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, I had I had a blast on this. I mean, we'll These see. Are, We're gonna have. Uh, These are our innovations. Yeah. Inter innervations. Innovation. Shut up. Innervations. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I thought I was the one. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> uh, so, uh, on Thursday, a uh, couple days from now. Start fresh. Yeah, we're going to start fresh. Uh, I'll have my normal Thursday gaming group. Um, but we're actually going to play a six player. I, I'm probably not going to record it uh, just because it's going to be a lot. We're going to have new players. Uh, and there's and no room for the camera. This yeah, table's pretty small. There's really... It's my, my, my table's small. But my but table is not small. For six people, that is. No. Uh, this when is, you count, there's a wall next to the edge of it. This, no. This, this is not an actively small table. I can tell you right now that this is the size of an above-average dino table. Yeah. I can't even play this at my house. I don't have a table big enough. There you go. I mean, honestly, this, it, the showdown board, showdown board plus the survivor um, gear grids yeah. and all of that stuff, uh, it, it's pretty big. I mean, um, oh, by the way, I'm just going to throw this out here. Yeah. See this miniature <laughs> that I took? I remember when I was talking about it and how I put it all together? Yeah, Bill, Bill broke it. Whatever. Gravity broke it. Bill broke it. Uh, again, not not a huge deal. I'm just going to put it together. But um, I just wanted to... 
Yeah. Twist the Twist knife. The knife. Yeah. Did you know we have an event when we return? What's that? The Endless Screams. Yeah, so we're going to have some other stuff going on. Again, I'm not um, going to record this part. We're just going to do a settlement phase. Um, we may talk about it and go on. Bill's thinking about possibly coming over other than just the Thursday nights, kind of like he did tonight. And actually full making let's this, play of it. yeah, full let's play. Um, so on this one, we're probably not recording it. Number one, because I'm he's drunk, pretty drunk at this point, um, and I didn't plan on even doing this video. <laughs> uh, and uh, we weren't sure about the whole bill coming over and doing this. So um, we'll see. Uh, depends on this guy's actually going to live up to his word. <laughs> it all depends on work. And his woman. Yeah, that too. Um, but, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll attempt to um, put this together. So we're going to do our settlement phase tonight, though. Um, kind of figure that out. Like I said, I'm not going to record it, unfortunately, for you guys. But if we do um, on the second round, we're going to we'll write everything it. down. We'll recap it before we go on to something else. <laughs> Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Was there anything else crazy that you can think of? Because I know we, I mean, I gave the house rule thing there. No. Um. Hope almost died as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, I mean, it was close. She got knocked down. Yeah, we almost lost two. <clears throat> yeah, we, I mean, honestly, I there Tom was. Tom got a hit or two against him. Yeah, Bill we, was safe because he was six inch, six squares away the whole time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was he was hiding in the tall grass, and everyone else was more of a threat. So the white line really didn't work. I would honestly have to say, I mean, put give someone a ranged weapon, a ranged <laughs> weapon, like right off the bat. I mean, it it sucks when you miss because it's only one speed. It is only one speed. So you only have the one shot and to three hit damage, which isn't the greatest. Yeah, uh, three strength. Yeah, three strength. Yeah, well, it's better than the. Yeah, dagger. the dagger was only one. Dagger two. was only one. Put the dagger at three speed. So, I mean, again, those are the kind of things that are, that are cool about it is that, you know, Kelly, who had the dagger, she was able, and on the last round, she hit three, three times. times. Eight, nine, and ten. Or was it, no, it was nine, nine, nine. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Eight, yeah. Actually, let's, let's go back for a second because I, I meant to say. <laughs> So she hit three times twice in a row. Yeah. The yeah. first three times she hit an eight, a nine, nine, and, and a lantern ten. Yep. But one of the cards that she drew <laughs> was, the, was trap. the trap, which meant it turned and nailed her uh, master up. Pretty yeah, she bad. got. That's when she got the permanent injury. Permanent injury. She got hamstring because yeah. she got another shot to her leg. To her leg, yeah. <coughs> then. Um, at the end of that, she stood up, uh, rolled another three. That's when she rolled the triple nines. And on the very first attack, right? Or was it the second? First, she missed. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because first, yeah, yeah. first she missed, and it was like a non-effect. There was no reaction shot right, or yeah. anything like that. And the second one, the second or the third shot would have been... Probably would have killed her. Awful. Yeah. Because it would have killed her and... Uh, yeah, Hope was right in the way too. Hope yeah. was right in the front because either one of them would have drawn the uh, charge forward type yep. attack, and they'd been both grabbed. And yeah, and they'd have been both grabbed and more than likely mauled to death. Yep. Um, but then that's when she Which critically sucks, hit. You get another life principle when somebody dies. Yeah, we. I mean, we kind of, kind of want it. Yes, yeah, now kind of this want is the to second because now, now you don't have some of the innovations. Yeah, which or, is cannibalism. Or the negative, yeah, I mean. <laughs> or graves, but yeah, so cannibalism sounds cool. To get resources out of your dead survivors. Yeah, so I mean, there's there's some uh, there's definitely some cool things that you can get, but again, like even in this case, uh, hypothetical, it's I pretty much guarantee it's not going to happen that we're not going to lose an entire that we're not going to lose even one survivor through the whole thing, but. This is kind of cool. We have two, two rounds, no survivor deaths. Um, there's other things that we've got. We had a birth on the first round, which pulled 
It gave us additional. Uh, you know, an additional survivor. It gave us an additional event. Um, we had our innovation that got pulled uh, that gives us when we try to do another innovation, which we cannot do. I just said innovation. Yep. Fuck you, Bill. <laughs> uh, innovation, um, we cannot pull the four because that's why I was like, ah, oh, when we get another innovation, we can pull four and then look at it. We're not even going to be able to do it this round because we don't have a bone. We don't have any bone. <laughs> now, the other thing that I did not point out, though, is we got these nine resources. We had... Lion testicles still left. Lion testes, which was a consumable organ. just want to make sure consumable is <laughs> still there. Uh, but we have the lion testes. I know I'm super focused on it, and I shouldn't be, but we, I'm... We named the settlement Lion's Balls. As... Even though I'm married and have a daughter... Definitely not a kid's game. The art in there is definitely anything but child-friendly. I'm just saying I'm not very mature. It is what oh, it is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> um, so, we have another organ, but no bones, so we won't be able to innovate this turn. Um, more than likely, we're not going to be able to build weapons this turn. Armor, um, though. I mean, we've already got some weapons. We really need yeah, some armor. So we're going to be able to armor up this turn, which, again, is cool. Your first hunt or your second hunt Might be. maybe you're all armor and all you have are stones and bare hands <laughs> I mean it's I don't know like I said I can't make a final verdict on this yet until you've played a couple games yeah I mean I think we're going to have to go 10 15 rounds in or maybe even a total TSK total settlement kill um, before I can honestly give a great review on this and a you know and goes to seal 40. of approval. Um, what? I don't. I thought. I don't. Well, I don't know. It says twenty-five. Now, of course, this could be because of expansions. Oh, true. Because uh, there's two additional expansions that add to the story. Yeah, the king and the scribe. Well, no, the king. So, the lantern festival. Oh right, the lantern festival, and then adds the king and the scribe. But then there's also the dragon king. Oh, the I dragon think king. that expands it past. Even that. But then the dragon king and the sunstalker. Sunstalker changed the opening. Right, yeah. both of them do. Oh, I, I believe the drag. The dra yeah, the dragon king also changes the initial setup. Um, I mean, like I said, I don't know, and we'll have to wait, obviously, for Wave 3. The cool thing is, is that if uh, we continue making these videos and whatnot, is that we do have pretty much everything. I think we did fuck up, though. We don't have the Survivor stuff, right? Survivor stuff? Yeah, you didn't get the Survivor. Like, you don't have Aya and Adam. Oh, no. Yeah, so we, we don't didn't have... get the Messengers, though. Yeah, we got the messengers. We got and I have so, the models, but the rules aren't out till November. So. Yeah, so but we don't have Aya and Adam, the the survivor stuff. Uh, between the both of us, we were idiots. We missed that somehow. Yeah, fucked it up somehow. Um, but we have everything else, including like I said in an earlier thing, like you know, I both of us ordered the sci-fi Twilight pinup yeah. or sci-fi Twilight Night pinup to get the gear cards but like I said I didn't want to use them during this game just for people you know for a core experience right um, the base yeah so if someone you know does do the two I, I didn't even look I don't know if the 275 is up anymore um, or if it's the 400 MSRP um, you know but if anyone purchases the game now can't get that other stuff or you know whatever uh, I wanted to make sure that these the at least the initial videos only have this stuff um, but anyway I think that's yeah pretty much good unless there was it lasted a while too versus the first one yeah the first the first combat and I was kind of talking to Bill about that too um, obviously <laughs> It's the I tutorial. Gotta, yeah, well, and I gotta fix the initial video. I doubled a part in there somehow, and sick. Uh, 
I was actually not dry. I'm sick during that one. Um, but during my sickness, uh, I messed up and doubled one of them, so the video was like an hour and a half, yeah. my initial. Um, and then a good 15, 20, well, half an hour, I don't know. Well, no, no, no. Oh, no, I mean, was... Was your explanation at the Yeah, beginning? my explanation at the beginning, hey, this is not a video for children. I probably should have put that disclaimer in front of the other ones, which I haven't done. Um, but, you know, in talking about the modeling, which Bill Burke, uh, different things that, <laughs> that I took some time to do. Um, but the initial prologue, with me learning only realistically took like half an hour 45 minutes it took us over an hour yeah this one took a little bit longer which and uh, that was with not having survivors activate first <laughs> like five turns in a row yeah <laughs> until bill could activate the again line. and that was the whole gaming thing the being on the ground ai card um but yeah i mean it uh the this showdown took a little bit a little bit longer but still I mean I wouldn't say it's I mean a lot of these games that I have back here will take longer than yeah. one of these show yeah, at full, least like a full this round showdown phase yeah definitely I mean I didn't think played it was Arkham bad at Horror all. and that's usually an entire night's experience yeah I mean you got not just one round essentially yeah and you don't even see some of the shit but uh, there's more over there. Eldridge. Over and, there. Yeah, there's stuff over back there. there. Cthulhu Wars. <laughs> and that over there. Um, yeah, like, it's uh, it's definitely something. I mean, I think it's meant clearly to be played as three in a row. In, in some order, whether it's the, hey, we set up the hunt, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we do whatever. Settlement. Yeah, I mean, I think... I think the natural progression is start at the home. Yeah. I mean, that's the way I'd feel. Like, we well, do... That's, that's kind of how it's, like, written, too, though, is, like, the well, Lantern Years cycle at the end of the settlement phase, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you start the game on the prologue, then go to settlement, then hunt, then showdown, then back to settlement... And I think that would be the natural progression for your first game. Yeah. Like, you would... Most people would be like, Alright, well, we killed something. Let's make some shit. Let's do a hunt. Let's kill something again. Yep. And then, you're not going to want to end at that point. You're like, let's Yeah, we just got all shit. these resources, yeah, which is exactly what we're going to do. Right. We're going to make some armor. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make some shit. Let's go on. And then and pick kind it up of... next time. Yeah, and then pick it up next time. You choose... Um, I would say prepared departing survivors. You know, you have this eight phase, and so it goes eight prepared departing survivors, nine record and archive resources, and then ten end settlement phase. You, I'm assuming most game sessions are going to end in that yeah, eight, eight to, to ten range. Um, just because it's like, hey, we've decided we're going to nail a uh, white lion right. next round. We're going to do, you know, whatever. But I feel like that's where yeah, it's... We, we're here right now on the returning settlers. Right. So we've got... Survivors. Whatever. <laughs> Survivors return actually is where we're at. Uh, we already did the setup. Game the Endeavors. We'll do an event. Um, so yeah. It, the easiest place to really put it is probably in the 8 to 10. Yeah. Because everything else is kind of a natural flow of <coughs> Survivors return to something going on in the encampment and yeah, I mean you're gonna have an event. You're gonna you're gonna want to know what happens to your people when you get back. Yeah. You know, you're gonna want to do that. And I and I do feel like that that's a natural progression. Your first game, um, even though you have the prologue. So basically, I would feel like if you were doing your first game on a game night, you're gonna do prologue and then another showdown. I mean, but still, you're talking. Um, Maybe three, four hours. Yeah, I mean, it's a might get a li little a bit long longer game. with more people. Yeah, but I mean, it's 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 in the long game range, but it's progressive. That's the difference. Most long games, it's five hours and you're done with it. Whereas in this, you can come back to it, well, play it for four more hours. And right, but so let's say you have a, a normal game night, right? Um, and and it's definitely different um, than what I'm about to say, but let's say you have a normal game night, 
and you have four hours, right? Uh, you're going to play two, possibly three games. They're going to be generally pretty different. Maybe one game. I don't know. But in this, like, the settlement, the hunt, and the showdown phase, completely different. Yeah, they're, and they appeal to different people, too. Right, yeah, so... Like, the settlement's probably my favorite part, but I like building civilizations. That's some of my favorite stuff, so... Yeah, settlement, uh, I mean, honestly... The hunt was pretty cool, though, too. Yeah, I mean, you get the cool events, you get the story, uh... I mean, so... I feel like the showdown phase is more of, like, the kind of create-your-own-story. Yeah. I mean, the hunt phase has some of that from what we've seen with, uh, we have a dark blacksmith the yeah. <laughs> totally fucked up Tom and Tom T-O-M-N however I say it now uh, that's a stepbrothers reference if anyone uh, has seen that uh, but anyway um, you know kind of had a little bit of story there but the the showdown phase I really felt like you know that's where I I mean Kelly by the way so I haven't I don't know if I've thrown too much of that in, but Kelly's my wife I think maybe I said that Kelly's my wife and I told her about the whole ripping off the pulse <laughs> and all that and I was like that's perfect for you and she called me an idiot but uh, she does that a lot for the record but I mean she like that survivor's metal now I yeah, mean she's, she, she's, she's something she's fierce strong, but she's pretty much killed two white lions pretty much solo she and did a crap ton of damage to it too that, yeah those daggers like they don't have like decent strength on them but if you can I mean it doesn't matter if you're hitting three times every every turn well but again she had the she's got the plus one strength the plus from one strength from the, the initial yeah. um which again I would say I don't know why you wouldn't at least throw one very first round just throw one because, I mean, that's a crit on the strange hand. You spend a survival, you get a strength. I mean, if that person dies, I guess it sucks. But I kind of feel like that that's a... Yeah, that was... It's an auto... You should probably use that on all the other survivors once we get them weapons. That's an auto... But, well, but again, I mean, that's so the... little frail. But I meant when they have, like, weapons that aren't frail. Like, and then, Whoa, but I mean, later, uh, rounds, later on, like, like a phoenix crits, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Or so, the screaming antelope that we're about to unlock. Yeah. Well, we've got we've got a bunch of other things, so I'm not going to drag this video out. Yeah, uh, let's uh, we'll go ahead and end this. But so far, I can tell you from what we've played. I mean, what you've played. I know we've invested a lot of money into it, so I'm gonna again, as I've said, as a caveat, I put money into this, so I'm sure my eyes are a Rose little bit, glasses. yeah, a little bit clouded with given poots money but as an old school i mean super old school and we've played a ton of warhammer quest here. so i and i know this may be gaming nerd shit going on right here but i'm going to throw some of this stuff out here super gaming nerd not just uh, nerd, just so you know as far actually i don't even need to put this but see so this that's a fancy tiers quest Okay, not even that. We're gonna go even more old school. I'm gonna throw this over here. See that? The original Heroes Quest. Original Heroes Quest. I got that when I was like 12, I think, maybe. <laughs> so, this is how much of an old school nerd I am. And these are He's the kind of games that I've put on some of the other things that I've said that um, I've been waiting for a game to replace Advanced Heroes Quest, Heroes Quest, Warhammer Quest, um, any of that stuff for a very, very long time. And it I works. Have, I, I mean, I actually have more fun with this than usually with... Warhammer Quest, usually because I get stuck as the healer. Yeah, well, that's your own fault. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but like Descent. Descent has a controller, right? Yeah. Um, so, Which people, this can have. There's a rule for that. Well, right. So if you want to have up to seven, yeah. you can do that. Or five for normal survivors, one person controlling. 
Right. Uh, which I have probably an above average, I would say, gaming group. I mean, based on kind of what I've heard, uh, to have four plus consistent. Yeah, usually is, five plus consistent. Right? Yeah, is probably pretty uncommon. Um, but we're, uh, you know, having having that amount of people and being able to still participate in this. Right, participate. I at least I don't have to without tell. having the descent rage quit. Right. Well, and that's the thing. Descent. You know, descent is still at its core. It's a competitive game. Uh, I know they've released an expansion, maybe more, that allow a purely cooperative experience, but the majority of the game is one versus X. Um, this is the opposite. Cooperative yeah. with a possibility of a GM monster controller permanent. Um, so you don't have to do that. Uh, I think that you know, with that we're not going to have as many issues. Descent got shelved pretty quickly. Um, three different GMs, three different sessions of Rage Quit. Yeah, frustration on multiple Either side. side. Yeah, I mean, it's... Either the heroes were waltzing through <coughs> or the, the Dungeon Keeper was destroying. And we're... Yeah, I mean, I would say that you and I are probably more story-based. Yeah. I would say we're, we're a tad bit more on the RPG side. Uh, the, the other players that we have with us are definitely more stat dice stab it in the face yeah i mean they're 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 Combat more focused. for the game they're, they're, they're more to the video game side of it so to speak yeah um and i'm sure you know if you don't have um those people this will i mean i wouldn't see how it wouldn't appeal to you and even if you do have those people this should appeal to you from what i've seen because you can have both uh, you don't have to get super nerdy, and no, I mean it. You kind don't of have to tells branch its own around. Story. Yeah, you don't have to branch around talking languages and you know whatever. You can. I would. I know that's pretty nerdy. Not. <laughs> I might mock you a little bit. There's that. A lot. But you, you can, you can do it if you want to. Yeah. Uh, and I probably. Do. I don't know. It depends. Um, but you can do it if you want to, but you don't have to. You know, I don't feel like, like I said a bit earlier, you don't have the players taking a book home. No. Yeah. Having to read over stuff like an RPG. Um, and it's all just like, you, I mean, every yeah. event in flip the book, it, you flip to him. If you're the person... You roll a dice. Yeah, if you're the person who buys all the games and deals with it, like I normally do, as you know, I read all the rules, everyone calls me a cheater because I forget a rule, and then all of a sudden I'm an asshole because I didn't tell them something that I remember halfway through the game. I'm like, oh, by the way, you can't. You're a cheater. You read the fucking rules. But, you know... I used to buy games. Remember the first one I bought? No one ever wants to play it. I think it's actually buried somewhere. He bought level seven escape. I bought Stanley. I bought horrible games as well. <laughs> Relic by Fantasy Flight. If you look at my reviews, <laughs> you will see that it is the worst game ever made. He couldn't even sell it. He tried. I tried. I did. I literally <laughs> tried to sell it and did not. So whatever. Um, but yeah, whatever. This is not about that. Um, this review is so way off the mark. Or not review, but this Yeah, we're session. recap is way past where we were intended it to be. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. If you're still just, watching... Just add sweet. ramble slash ramble <laughs> at the end. It'll, uh, it'll work just fine. It's YouTube. People will watch it anyway. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm going to end this now. Let's okay. do the settlement phase, and then we'll get back. So hopefully we'll see you... Um, Within a week or so. Yeah, I don't see why. We can figure out. Yeah, yeah it might not days. be the same night, but we'll figure something out. Yeah, and we'll we'll continue the settlement um, with just Bill and I. Till lion's balls fall. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. All right. Peace out, YouTube. Bye, guys. I will see you in a bit. <laughs>